close in my set, and this is uh, one of my favorite pieces. It's a poem called Free. in many ways with a spirit that's free and hair <laughs> that's even freer no fades locks twists or need afro for this man sometimes you just need to be free he says and free came into my life quite by chance he was walking down the stairs and i was walking up and now he has added his kindness and intelligence and support to my artistic existence so humble i've mentioned his name and found out he's done great things but not from him his look, his style is very unassuming. And then I saw him dance. And when I saw him dance, it helped me to be free of my own inhibitions. Always thinking before that if free got a wind of me on the dance floor, that it would somehow end our newly blossoming friendship. Cause I have a tendency to shake what my mama gave me and what my grandmama gave to my mama. But please don't give me no static. Cause I happen to be an old school fanatic, but free was free on the dance floor also. Having his own style, his own groove, I'm telling you, free could move. And when I hear his voice on my line, those in-depth messages he leaves if he happens to see my number in his call display are conversations about life, society, politics, or a film that he saw, and not wearing any Armani, Tommy Hilfiger, Burberry, or any other ludicrous name brand, at least not that I've noticed. And like a theater school graduate, black seems to be his favorite choice of color and clothing. I always wanted to meet someone like Free. Someone just free to be himself. Not conforming to society's image of what a black man should be. I'm just glad that I met Free and Free met me and I feel so relaxed in my skin and so comfortable within and so in tune with him and who knows, maybe one day we can be free together. Together. to do whatever he wants to is a part of me 